In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the water. The high places of Aden shall be destroyed. The sin of Israel, thorn and thistle, shall overgrow then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. So for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety, break up your, for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain down justice upon you. Thanks be to God. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits 
to drive them out, and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus. Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent them out, these twelve, after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter Samaritan towns. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go and make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning in the Gospel of St. Matthew, we see the names of the apostles given to us, those who were chosen by our Lord to follow him, to then go out into the world and to preach the Gospel, and to share a spirit of repentance, the proclamation the kingdom of God is at hand. And today, as we listen to those names, we place ourselves in the same group, that we go out into the world to proclaim the gospel. We go out to proclaim the message of Christ with one another. And our names can be written also in this passage of scripture as we go forward today. May we pray that as they had the courage, although some of them weak, they went out into the world to proclaim the gospel, to share the message of great hope and joy with one another. May we take the gospel message into our own hearts today and to go forward, proclaiming and living what Christ has given to us. God bless you. Let us place our prayers and petitions before God, our Heavenly Father. For the clergy, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit as they shepherd the people of God. We pray to the Lord. For all government leaders around the world, May God grant them fortitude and patience in promoting and defending religious freedom. We pray to the Lord. For all those suffering from the effects of natural disasters, may God bring them comfort and care. We pray to the Lord. For the lost sheep of our community, may the voice of the Good Shepherd help them to find their way back to the fold. We pray to the Lord. For all those who have recently died in the light of Christ, may they be rewarded with the glory of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. We place those petitions which are in the silence of our hearts before God. We pray to the Lord. In a special way, we remember Harry Clark's Yes. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, we humbly ask that you grant these petitions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Bread of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the baby of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Trend of the wine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice be pleasing to you, O God. The Lord wash my mind equity and cleanse me of my sin.
Pray for my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and by and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new Paul, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Give me a save for eternal life. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a nice day, everyone.